And officials put up zip ties and used an extension cord to close off the front entrance to the State Department of Education. The move is drawing concern from residents who set up right outside of the building ahead of tomorrow's meeting. Fox 25's Tom Ferguson joins us live from the department. Tom, uh, from talking to you earlier, it sounds like some folks are still camped out out there right now. Adam and Wendy, that's correct. Just take a look behind me. As we speak, we have some concerned Oklahomans camping out outside OSTE right now. They're right outside the front entrance. And what's going on here has some scratching their heads and even worried about fire safety. Take a look at this. These are green ties blocking off the outside doors to the education department. This is an orange extension cord doing the same thing. Fox 25 got video of a worker installing the makeshift locks. We also got video of a worker removing a memorial set up for the late wife of village councilman Sean Cummings from inside the entrance doors. Uh, 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 hey, that's Man, not okay. That. Not okay. We are going to stand in line as our right of citizens and taxpaying Oklahomans to speak at this meeting and to be present at this meeting. Erica Watkins got here at 5.45 p.m. on Wednesday for a meeting that starts at 1 p.m. on Thursday. She said it's gotten harder to gain access to State Board of Ed meetings and get one of the 10 speaking slots. Those gathered here say it's their right to make themselves heard. I believe we have the right as uh, citizens to be anywhere we want to be on this grounds. This is the people's fine. ground. Watkins accused the department of targeting members of the gender non-conforming community and said she'd like to save a spot for someone who belongs to that group to address Oklahoma's top public ed officials. We are here extremely early, <laughs> as we have been increasingly, because we do want to have um, an ability or, you know, the ability to speak as, you know, constituents and of parents that have kids in Oklahoma public school. Those here are also worried that the outside doors are blocking public access to the posted agenda on the interior set of doors, which they're calling an Open Meetings Act violation. And we did reach out to OSDE about these concerns, Oklahomans, and what they're saying. We were referred to the Department of Public Safety. Now, just minutes before going on air, we heard back from DPS saying this building here is considered part of state park grounds and that members of the public have to vacate by 11 p.m. and can return at 6 a.m. Now, these people gathered here do expect to be kicked off the property at 11 p.m. tonight. Live in Oklahoma City, Tom Ferguson, Fox 25 News.